You know, I can't figure out the firewood business. You know, on one hand, I think it's a great idea for something that my kids can do and help out with and maybe set up a roadside stand. A lot of good lessons, hard work, flexible around schedules. You know, you can just kind of do it when you have time. But on the other hand, folks that are out there doing this as grown-ups, I, I, I can't make the numbers work. I really can't. So I am missing something. Hopefully you guys can fill me in on it. But there is so much touch time that is involved with producing firewood and especially firewood bundles on top of that that I just I mean it it doesn't seem it seems like you're making less than minimum wage on a per hour basis not to mention all the equipment that you need hear me out I'm gonna go through what I think are, are the costs that are involved in this whole process here the things that just don't add up to me I mean if you value your time at all what kind of what kind of price point are you putting on an hour's worth of your own labor for a kid, I think it makes a lot of sense. For an adult, I can't figure it out. Hometown Acres did a video about this recently. He did a little experiment where he spent a day or two pretending like he did firewood, just producing firewood full time for his business. He crunched the numbers. I think he's an accountant by, by day, um, if I recall correctly. So he knows a little bit about numbers. Came down to it at the end of the year, it was like bringing home $34,000, which I think that was making like 200 plus cores of wood a year, full time, 34 grand a year that you're bringing home. No thanks, man. Okay, so here's why I think it's a great business for kids. You know, if you have active kids like we do in sports and all sorts of other extracurriculars going on, you know, it can be tough to find something steady that you can do at a set time or going elsewhere. So besides regular chores, if you want them to kind of learn the value of money and, and how their work can be rewarded, then I think it's a really good business. You know, you can do it in your free time, you can do it at home, it's fresh air outdoors, season doesn't really matter too much, manual labor, it's doable, right? Every kid can pick up a, a small piece of wood. There's a real need for it out there, right? In rural communities, everybody needs that wood. It's satisfying, you know, to hear that wood split, to stack it, to turn it in from just a, 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 a tree trunk into something usable, that's really cool too. And you're teaching them life skills, right? Even Passive sales, right? How to make money and how you can learn how to do something at one point. And then kind of like how I do on with the internet, right? You, you, you make these videos, I'm working during the day, but we'll have sales come in at night. Nobody's answering the phone. Folks just go to our website. Maybe they look at our videos, they see what they want, they figure it out. An order comes in overnight, happens all the time, right? So those are kind of passive sales, so to speak, and a smarter way to do business if you can. And so to translate that to the firewood business, it's, it's setting up the roadside stand, right? Where you have it down at the end of your drive, and folks just come there when they're passing by. It doesn't matter, you don't have to be there attending it. There is a bit of a trust factor involved. Um, I know some folks have done videos about, you know, getting all their, their cash stolen and, and different ways to secure that and extra costs involved there and yada yada. So don't wanna overthink it right now. It's just kind of the general principle where I do think there's a lot of value in doing so with the kids. Now, obviously folks out there have figured this out. Ohio Woodburner, he's killing it. You know, he's, he's got the magic recipe put together He's knocking it out and, and good for him. I'm obviously not smart enough to figure out what that is. But getting back to what Hometown Acres said, making 34 grand a year, bringing that home, he's charging a premium in his area. Uh, for a quart of wood, for example, I think he was getting 350. I don't think it was 400, I can't remember, but it was definitely a lot more than around here, which you, you scan Facebook Marketplace and it's ranging from 225 to 300 bucks on a high end for a quart of wood. And so that profit that hometowns raking in would be even lower if he was in our area in Michigan. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, so anyway, I had to, to think about how could you do this with the least amount of touch time, right? That's, I think, widely known. Your labor time involved with, you know, the, the felling, the limbing, the bucking, you know, the, the splitting, the stacking, the drying time, the moving things around. It's, there's just so much labor time involved that you need to cut that down somehow. And yeah, there are expensive pieces of equipment that can do that, like a firewood processor. We've shown you guys that too, but you have to plan on doing that basically full-time, I think, in order to justify it, you know, year-round, 
an operator on there constantly producing firewood in order to recoup that investment, which is tens of thousands of dollars. So crazy idea. Want to run this by you guys. What if you bought in bulk cords of wood? All right. So around here, they're selling 225 to 300. I paid 300 for some cherry that had been two years seasoned. Probably don't need to do that. But let's just say the average is 250. What if you bought four cords of wood from somebody? Maybe you could get it for 170, 180 bucks delivered per cord of wood. All right. So you're taking all of that earlier stuff out. You don't have to find the trees if you don't have them, right? Cut them down, limb them, buck them, split them, dry them, find the big IBC totes to put them in, move all this stuff around. I mean, there is countless labor hours gone right? And you're buying at wholesale prices. Doing some research, it seems like typically a firewood bundle is the most profitable way to sell firewood, okay? And one cubic foot is, seems to be the industry standard. You'll see some three quarters, some a little bit over a cubic foot, but one foot, okay? And there's 128 cubic feet in a cord. So that's 128 $5 firewood bundles. $5 seems to be the standard. You may see six in some locations. Who knows? Maybe inflation is affecting trees too. Okay, so let's say you have 100% usable quantity out of that cord of wood. Get 128 $5 firewood bundles. That's 640 bucks from one cord of wood that you paid 180 bucks for. Now I've seen some firewood bundlers out there look pretty sweet. Some claiming you can do a bundle in a minute. That seems crazy fast to me. Let's just say you do a bundle in two minutes, half that speed, that's 30 bundles in an hour. It's going to take you let's just say four hours to bundle a cord of firewood. So you have four hours of labor right there. Now there's other costs involved as well, right? You're gonna have the bundler, which a thousand bucks seems to be on the low end of one of those bundlers. And I did some math there. Uh, oh, hang on, I did the math. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Thousand dollars for a bundler. Let's say you did 4,000 bundles, which is 31 cords of wood. That would make the cost per bundle 25 cents, all right? So you break down that firewood bundler cost. If you get to 4,000 bundles produced on there, that's 25 cents a bundle. 4,000 bundles. <laughs> that's a lot of bundles, man, okay? Plus an average, it sounds like, of about 25 cents in uh, the wrap, okay? So you can go that route or you can go with the bags, the bundle bags that are typically around 75 cents, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, you don't have that bigger initial expense. If you want to stop, say you're tired of doing it after a thousand, you give up and you throw your hat in. Well, then you don't have that big extra expense that's sitting out there to, well, you can probably sell it off or recoup some of that money. But uh, either way, you're going to have 50 to 75 cents in the materials there to prep that bundle. So our input cost per bundle is our firewood. All right. Our one cubic foot of firewood is about $1.40. Then we have let's just say 50 cents in our, our packing of some kind for the wrap or for the bag or whatever. So that's $1.90 out of five bucks. Okay, so we have $3.10 left over for a bundle. So at a very high level, this is very simple. This doesn't take into account um, having to move the bundles from point A to point B, uh, cost of equipment to move said bundles from point A to point B, other things that come into it. But if we're making $5 a bundle, we have $1.90, we're gonna round up to $2 going into it, that's $3 a profit, okay? And if you can make 30 bundles in an hour, you do 30 times the $3 a profit, and that's potentially 90 bucks an hour that you can make as long as you get them all out at the roadside stand and sell them all at that price. Now, I don't know what kind of traffic you get in your area. I don't know how many bundles you could sell in your area in any given week or month or season or year. But for me, that's kind of how I look at something is what I can get doing something in an incremental amount, right? And so an hour's worth of time, what can my potential return be? About 90 bucks is kind of at the high end there. If everything goes smoothly and not taking out all the other little costs that are gonna chip away at that. I do think potentially if you have your bundles in bags versus the, the plastic wrap, they probably look a little bit more professional and presentable and you may be able to charge higher. You could always experiment with $6 a bundle that would really up your profit level. But at that point, you have way less time into producing firewood than you do with the entire process, right? You're getting the, the whole goods delivered to you, prepped and ready to go 
and you just have that last component there to tackle, let somebody else do all the heavy lifting, right? Do all the labor intensive stuff, use all the expensive equipment, just have it delivered to you in a ready to go state and resell it. So going through all that, okay, I then thought, well, man, maybe there's an even easier way to do this, right? Because folks sell face cords of wood and there's three face cords of wood typically in a full cord of wood. And so face cords of wood sell at a premium cost, right? Typically you, you buy smaller quantities, the price goes up on a per unit basis. And so you can sell in my area, it seems like 120 to 150 bucks for a face cord. So if you times, let's just say 130 times three, that's 390 bucks. Yeah, that's 390 bucks for something that you paid maybe $180 for the whole cord, okay? So that's a lot less touch time. There's no bagging everything involved. You may have to include free delivery. And for me, I don't know about that. A face cord, I think you can fill in a full, um, in, an over, in, a, in a heaped over truck bed. So if you can dump it all in there, maybe if you're even a little bit on the high side, it's just not worth the extra labor time to, to, to measure it off or count it piece by piece. If you can get close and you can minimize your time involved, the less you can, less you can have to mess with something and the more money you can make for it, the easier life is. So that's how my mind works, okay? So I think step one, eliminate all the other stuff if you really wanna make money, right? Eliminate, get, get, find somebody to buy wholesale from, three, four, five, six, ten 10 yards of firewood, season ready to go, in one fell swoop. Go about your bundling that way if you want to. Otherwise, maybe you bundle part of that, turn the rest of it into face cords and sell it off that way. That's just, that's how I would do it, right? And I, I, I don't discount you for going out and doing it on your own. I don't discount you for wanting to do it as a hobby, for wanting to heat your house, but maybe you buy in bulk like that and you sell off the face cords or you, you resell enough of it to get the remaining balance of your firewood for free and heat your house for free that way too. So there's a lot of different ways you can look at things and I tend to not look at things the same way other folks do. So maybe I'm completely off base here. Maybe there's some other key ingredients that I'm missing that we should be thinking about. But this is a bit of a random discussion today as we now have our own property, have our house, we have a, a firewood processor, we have a wood splitter, we have tons of trees all over the place too, right? And I just want to go into this whole process that I'm gonna do it the right way, the smart way, and the most cost-effective way. If you wanna learn all sorts of stuff about firewood, don't watch my channel. Watch Ohio Woodburner, watch Hometown Acres, watch In the Woodyard, watch Outdoors with the Morgans, and the list goes on. So many folks out there know so much about firewood, and that's who I lean on and who I turn to, and you're gonna get a ton of great advice and uh, ways to shorten your learning curve. That's the good thing about YouTube. And over here, we deal with tractors. That's what we mainly and primarily focus on here. So if you do have a tractor, we would love to earn your business. You just might need some tractor attachments. So check us out at goodworkstractors.com. Our prices include free shipping, rewards, and financing too. So Firewood is full of opinions. If you have yours to share, leave a comment down below and let us know. And if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit subscribe as well. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.